the calling of God is not for entertainment. Many distractions in the body of Christ this end time that people are confused because we did not understand the real meaning of God's calling. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 4, the Bible said that the Lord called Samuel and Samuel said, Here I am. And we understand that every calling has a specific purpose. God wants to use that individual to achieve on earth. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or click the follow button if you're watching me from Facebook so that you'll be receiving all my updates. And also join hands together with me in saving lives. Share this message to many people of your contacts and they also drop your comment. God bless you for doing so. God's calling is not for entertainment. I discover that Satan want to turn church into entertainment industry. Devil want to turn church into a cinema hall. That is to say, a place where people come and they are excited, and they are they, they are excited, they are happy, they they do this and that, that they jump up, they dance, they they shout. But I understand, in as much as God desire the, the praises and God love praises and worship, we must understand that worshiping God and worshiping God and praising God is not the same as entertainment or entertaining people or in a cinema hall they are not the same but i want us to discuss today calling of god is not for entertainment god did not call any man to make people happy god did not call any man to say what people like to hear every calling has a specific purpose why god decided to call that man there is something god wants to achieve because god is spirit God created the world and he put, set a law that anything that did not have body is not permitted to be in the world, is not permitted to dwell in the world. That is why God and Satan, demons, all of them are looking for somebody to use. When God wants to do something in the world, he begins to find a man, find a woman that can allow him to use him or her. To do that work on earth because God cannot come down from heaven to do that work or to get that job done likewise when Satan want to destroy a man when demons want to destroy a man they begin to look for somebody that can that can agree with him somebody that can that can allow him to use him or her to achieve that purpose you discover that God is spirit, Satan is spirit, demons are spirit. All of them are looking for human being. That is why human being is, is the target of both God and Satan. Anytime God called a man, there is a purpose why God called that individual. God did not call us to do everything the same, to do the same thing. God did not call us to do the same thing. That is why the Bible told us about the different varieties of gifts. The Bible began to tell us different offices, prophet, apostle. The Bible told us about evangelists, told us about teacher, told us about many departments in the kingdom of God. And all of them, their functions are different. And Apostle Paul was telling us about the way the spirit realm operates in the kingdom of God. He said that, that we are body, members of Christ. We are members of Christ's body, members of Christ's body. Some people are hands in the kingdom of God. Some people are legs in the kingdom of God. Some people are mouth in the kingdom of God. Some people are like eye in the kingdom. Some people are like hair, our hair in the kingdom. Some people are like, 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 like leg in the kingdom. Some people are like stomach. Some people are like tongue in the kingdom. So when we gather the whole body of Christ together, you will see Jesus. The whole body of Christ together make up Jesus. Say to the hands, I don't need you. That is to tell us that the work of the leg is different from the work of the hands is different from the work of the mouth no matter how powerful mouth is it can never work no matter how strong hand it is it can never eat it is mouth that will eat it no matter how mighty man is without tongue he will never talk 
So in the kingdom, we will find a place where God fixes us. We find a place we are fixed in the kingdom. If you are a man of God, a minister of God, God did not call you to imitate any minister. Because your calling is different from that person, that minister. Your calling is different from that minister. This is where they will distract the church these days. That everybody is like everybody want to want to prophesy. Everybody wants to see vision. Everybody wants to see vision. Everybody wants to do miracle. Everybody wants to be a miracle worker. Because that is what people like. That is what a man will be doing. He will have crowd and congregation in his church. But hear me. Don't be deceived by devil. It is God that doeth the whole miracles. If the Lord decided to use you to do miracle, he used you to do miracle. That is why the Bible told us about the gift of signs and wonders. There are people God give gift of signs and wonders. There are some people God give teaching grace, teaching grace that they can teach Bible. They teach Bible. And I discovered that this our generation, we need men and women that have teaching grace who can teach us the word of God. Somebody pray for the dead. The dead come back to life. Does not mean that that man, that man or that woman is powerful. It is the Lord that make it to happen. And that somebody pray, something did not happen. It's not that that man is not powerful. It's because maybe God did not want to use that man to achieve those things. So don't be distracted about the calling of God. And these days, we see many things that are going on in the body of Christ in the church about the calling of God. People are misunderstanding calling of God, thinking that the calling of God is all about making people happy. No, no. The calling of God is beyond trying to please everybody. The calling of God is beyond trying to make everybody happy. I know that in the body of Christ these days, God help us to set up different departments in the body, welfare department, but God did not call any man of God for welfare. There is a job God wants to use that man to achieve on earth. There is that particular job God wants to use that man, that woman to achieve on earth. God did not call us for charity work, in as much as charity work is very, very important. But that is not the main reason why God call any man of God. And if you are a man of God, a woman of God, hearing this message, don't be intimidated by what people are saying. They say, oh, why this pastor is not helping people? Why this pastor did not establish bank? Why this pastor did not establish a big company and unemploy people? Why this pastor did not do this? Why he did not do this? Why he refused to give his members job? Our realm, we must understand the purpose why God called us. And when you find out the purpose why God called you, stick to that purpose. Forget about other people's purpose. Everybody cannot be a prophet. If the whole ministry, if the whole ministers are prophets, the kingdom of God is in trouble. If the whole preachers of gospel are signs and wonder performance, the kingdom of God is in trouble. It means that is one particular member of the body, one particular member of the body, God has reduced the whole church to. That is why God makes everybody to be different. But I want you to know that the calling of God is not for entertainment. That is where I want to specialize today. Calling of God is not, an, is not for entertainment. It's not for entertainment. Calling of God is not limited in making people to fall down and to rise up. No, it's beyond falling down and rising up in the church. Calling of God is, is, is beyond just when you pray for somebody, the person come on that anointing. No, the calling of God is beyond that. You must find out the area God will want to use you to, to achieve. The, that job God will want to get done on earth through you. You must find out that particular assignment God will want to get it done on earth through you. That is why you must understand that your calling, God calling you means there is problem in the world he wants to use you to solve. God calling any man on earth means that there is problem in this world. God wants to use that individual to solve it. God is not calling us so that we gather members, we have the largest congregation. I had a encounter with the angel of the Lord. Let me share this testimony. I had a encounter with an angel of the Lord. He was telling me, the angel of the Lord was telling me about a woman. According to that, according to the testimony, the angel of the Lord said that there was a woman when she was in the world, that the world loved her ministry. Everybody cherished her ministry when she was in the world. And according to the testimony that the woman did the work with all her heart, all her mind, she did the work with all her heart. 
But as the testimony goes on, he said that after when the woman died, coming up to heaven, the, she was stopped before she goes, gets to heaven. I said, why? What happened? The angel of the Lord said, because this woman abandoned the assignment God commissioned her. That assignment, why God called her, she did not do it. She went ahead and did what God did not assign her to do. She did what God did not assign for her calling. Some, something God did not assign for her calling. That was, the, was what she did, she fulfilled. But that which makes God to call her into ministry, she abandoned it, she didn't do it. And because of that, it was counted to that woman as rebellion. It was counted to that woman as sin. It was counted to that woman as iniquity. It's like a man, it's like you sending your son to go somewhere. Or you call your daughter, you call your child and say, go dear, go and buy me so 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 thing. For instance, you say, go and buy me bottle of water. And your child getting there, he refused to buy your bottle of water. She, he spent the whole hours without buying your bottle of water and the way he come back the money you gave him he lavish it without buying anything without getting anything for you and you are thirsty you are thirsty waiting for your son to return get it coming to your house in the evening time or in the night he say mommy he say daddy oh oh i don't i don't understand oh sorry i didn't buy it how will you feel how will you feel with that your child so for a minister of God to discover the area God called him is the biggest job. And the number two job is for that minister of God to stick to that assignment God called him to do. Because Satan will be tempting you. There will be a lot of temptation along the way. Maybe you are a teaching priest. You are a teaching minister. There will be that temptation that will say, oh, look at members are running away from your church because you are not their prophet. Oh, if you can be prophesying now, you will see many members. Oh, if you can be doing miracle now, you will see many members. And you begin to force yourself to begin to do miracle. You begin to force yourself to become a prophet. Even when you are a teaching minister, so there is that temptation in that area of calling which you will receive grace from God to overcome. You will receive that grace from God to overcome. Calling of God is not for entertainment. Calling of God in the life of a man, in the life of a woman is not for an entertainment. Calling of God is not for title. It's not for title. Sometimes we try to, we like to claim the whole title. Apostle, doctor, reverend, pastor, priest, and the prophet. So it's, how, it's not for title. It is your assignment that will define your title. Not your title. It is your assignment that will define your title. Let me explain it well. When God calls a man, when God calls a man, it is the assignment of God in the life of that man that will give that man title, that will define the title, the area where God called him. The area God called him, the office God wants you to occupy, that will be your title through your assignment. It's not for entertainment. We think that the calling of God is for entertainment. People everywhere, church everywhere, crowd everywhere, do programs, see members everywhere, everywhere. Yet sin is increasing in the world. Yet iniquity is increasing. Yet members and members are sleeping with each one another. They are sleeping with one another. Yet choruses are sleeping with one another. Yet many people are still wearing charm coming to church. Yet many people are ritualists in the church because we did not understand the meaning of calling. God did not call us in as much as there is a, a provision in every area of God's word that, that solves our needs. But God did not call us to represent bank. God did not call us as an insurance company. No. There is a job God gave us to do. Our work on earth is eternal work, work that have eternal value. Every minister, with the reason why God called you, your work assignment on earth, your assignment on earth is something that will have eternal value, eternal value, not temporal value, not temporal value. It is for eternal value, eternal value. You, you, you don't understand the meaning of calling. It's something that has eternal value. God will call every man of God, every woman of God to achieve. Not something that have physical or ended up in physical thing, euphoria thing. It's not something that God called us for. 
God will teach us to, God, the word of God provided a means for us to get wealth, for us to be blessed, for us to get money, for us to get favor, for us to get all these things, from healing to come to us. Those things are very good. They are temporary. But our assignment to go beyond the present. Our assignment to go beyond present to future, to eternity. That is the reason why God called us. And as you find the area God called you, stick to that area. Stick to that area, man of God, woman of God. Stick to that area. Nobody is appreciating you. Nobody is respecting you. Nobody value that calling. But you know that God called you to do that. Stick to that area. Your reward is mighty. The Lord shall favor you. God shall send people on your way. I decree, wherever you are right now watching me, that... That area God called you, receive grace to fulfill it in Jesus' name. I pray that anything that is required for you to answer that calling, for you to fulfill that calling, for you to carry that mandate, receive it in Jesus' name. If the mandate requires money, receive money in Jesus' name. If that mandate requires power, receive power of God in Jesus' name. Whatsoever that is required for you to fulfill the calling of God in your life, receive it in Jesus' name. May God send financial pillars to you. May God send gate, gate openers for you. May God send door openers and may God give you open doors in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook page and also subscribe to my YouTube channel as a child of God. Let us join hands together to save life. I love you. See